Going to get that esky and that bobber's completely gone. I don't know. Yes, another one. Going to have a go at it. Got him. Oh. <laughs> Look at the size of that, that thing. Yellow. I've just come out to the lake today. All I've brung is two rods. I'll give you a bit of a look. It's over here in the shade. Uh, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be have one rod for yabbies. We've got this one set up for yabbies. I've just got some bacon and a bit of lamb on there. Give them a bit of a smorgasbord. And I've got this one to see if we can get some little perch. And that's just a little bit of shrimp on a little tiny hook with a bobber. And I'm just sort of in one of the main areas uh, i've got a big gum tree there anyway we'll get these rods out and see what's going to happen going to get that esky and that bobber's completely gone i don't know whether we've got another big yabby or a fish i think that may have been a yabby i'd say yeah it's a big monster yabby and i've got the net over there I run and grab this net. Whew. I've got the net over near the yabby line. And I've got a yabby on the fish line. And there's only a tiny bit of bait on there, so I'm gonna have to be quick. He was holding on fairly well because I dragged him pretty quick to start with. We'll go out here. Oh, and now he's pulled back and try and keep us in frame. He's a big fella. And I want some lunch, you beauty. Got him. Have a go at that. Nice one to start with. Beautiful and clean too. Well that was quick. I'd only just gone to go get the esky to um, get a bit of water in it ready. We've got our first catch. You'll do for a starter. What I'm going to do, I've been using um, shrimp as bait. Just a little bit of shrimp, but they keep stealing it really quickly. So what I'm going to do is put a bit of pork or bacon rind on there like that. And hopefully they won't be able to take it as um, easily. And we'll just throw it out and give it a couple of minutes and see whether they like it or not. This bobber rod's been going off. So hopefully they like the bacon rind. And they're not going to steal it as easily. Um, we'll give that one a couple of minutes. I'll just keep an eye on it out of the side of my eyes. And I have, I've been neglecting this rod down here um, with the yabby bait on it. So we'll just have a look at him. See whether he's got a yabby on him. He's just coming out of the water. Oh, yes. Another monster. This one's going to be a bit hard. What I'm going to do, I'm going to set that rod, sit that rod down and just pull this line in by hand. And there's a stick under the water here that he's getting caught under. I can feel him. I'll fix this camera up a bit so you can see. He's right here. Hopefully I've got, oh, and he just took off. I can see, I know where the sinker is, the sinker's about a foot from the line, so he's only just right there. Oh, and we got him too, another beautiful one. Look at that. Oh, we've got some lunch now. Two nice yabbies. All I need is a little bit of fish to go with it. And that bob has taken off again. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want, subscribe. It really helps us out. Oh, we got him this time. Oh, and there's a big yabby again. I let him go. Another big yabby. Where's my net? <laughs> She's all action. It's another big yabby. The way it's taken off there, I thought it would have been a fish. I'll point you down a little bit. Hopefully get yous. He knows I'm coming because he's pulling back. He's not letting go, but... Yes, another one. And that bit of, bit of pork rind's doing the job. Now my hook's caught in the net.
I don't want to break me net. I'll just sit that there. There's number three. He's not a monster, but I'll put him in the bucket and we might let him go if we get a couple of more bigger ones. I've just gone to get the rod holder for that other rod and that uh, this bob is disappearing again. I'll just bring it up slow. Oh no, that's a fish, that one. Ah, oh, missed him. Little tiny bit of pork rind left on there. We'll throw that back out. There's the tiniest little bit of pork, pork rind on there. That one was definitely a fish. I felt that one. We'll give him a minute. I'll go back to what I was doing. I wanted to get this um, rod holder. This is my rod holder that I made oh, years and years ago. This will outlast me, this fella. I wanted to get this rod in a rod holder because there are big carp in here. And if a big carp comes along, decides to swallow that. Oh, hang on. My bob is gone again. I've got to get this one back out. That's probably a bit too far, but that'll do it for now. This bob is completely gone. What have we got? We've got another big yabby. Is it? Yeah, another yabby. <laughs> we'll get him. Now there's the tiniest little bit of bloody pork rind holding onto this um, hook. So the yabbies are going off today. Ready? Here he is. And he's in the net. He's only a little fella. Give you a look at him. He's only a little, um, little tacker. What I'll do, I'll walk down here and I'll let him go. I don't want to be eating that. He can go back for another day. He'll be good next year, that one. I'm going to check this rod. I've actually rebaited it since I last checked it. Um, they've just they just about eaten all my bait off. So I'll put a bloody big lamb vertebrae on there. Um, I think the little fish may have been biting it off or could very well have been a big yabby. And it's going to be very hard to tell whether I've got a yabby on here or not. Just for the fact that the lamb vertebrae weighs about three kilos. Oh, and there is one. Oh, two on there. I'll give you a look at the bait I'm using. I'll just sit them there in the water. Look at the bait I'm using on this rod. <laughs> it's like a trap. It worked though. I've got two at once. We'll get him back out there. Ooh, one crawling on my foot there. We'll have a look at what we've got. We've got one little one, which he can go straight back if he's gonna let go. Two little ones, actually. We'll let both of them go. I want a bit bigger of a feed than that. I'm fairly confident there's something decent on here. He's not letting go either. I can see the sinker. Hopefully he's a big lobster. Oh yes, nice one. That's what I've been waiting for. We'll have a look at him. Get him down here. That's what I've been waiting for. Nice one. I'll give you a bit of a look at what I'm doing here. I will cut out a little bit of it. I've just got a very sharp knife. And just straight in the middle of the forehead there. He's been head spiked. Completely dead. And then all we've got to do. Slice him straight in half just like a lobster. And that's it. So what we're going to do, I've got the cast iron skillet up in the back of the ute here, um, trying to avoid that wind. As you can see, I've got it nice and hot. It's actually um, probably a bit too hot. I was mucking around over there cleaning these yabbies and forgot about it. I turn that right down. Might turn it off actually. We're going to throw our yabbies on there. Give them a quick sear. 
Oh, that looks good. I hope I got you in frame. And that cast iron's good because it holds the heat. Oh, the smell coming off that's bloody beautiful. And it's good out here because the yabbies are beautiful and clean. No slime. Um, no dirt, no mud. It's all sand. And once they're sort of half, getting half cooked, I've just got some olive oil here. Just a little drizzle of olive oil on each one. Just like so. They turned out bloody good. Check this out. Bloody beautiful. Have a look at this. They just peel out of the tail beautifully. Look at that for a chunk of meat. That's only half the tail. Bloody beautiful. Hey? Eh? Ring it out in the sun and give you a look. Oh, if you could taste that. That's got to be one of my best bloody cook-ups to date. Oh, I've got to go in for another one. Here, look, the lighting's not going to be the best under here. You do get a lot more meat cooking them this way too because there's meat all the way up into the head here. Just peel that away. Look at that. Oh, that looks bloody good, doesn't it? It's got a nice sear on that side with a little bit of garlic. Mmm, I could eat them all day. I probably should have actually um, waited and cooked some more. I might go again. Get another half a dozen, I think. Anyway, I'll sit here and eat all these. Maybe even catch some more. And we'll catch you on the next one.